So, PDF files are actually extremely useful because, uh, uh, you know, uh, they can be displayed uh, identically across all the platforms. So, no matter what version of Windows or macOS or Linux or Android you use, PDF files will be displayed always the same. And this is a huge advantage. And uh, also one of their advantages is that they cannot be edited. So you can just send, for instance, your invoice in a PDF format to your customer and you can be sure that they cannot change it or manipulate it in any way. But unfortunately, if you actually try to translate a PDF file, this becomes a disadvantage uh, because you cannot directly edit such a file. So it's actually quite laborious uh, to work with it. So if you want to translate a PDF file, then of course you could take this uh, very naive approach like uh, putting uh, your PDF uh, to the left uh, side of your screen and then opening uh, a um, Microsoft Word file. But you know, then you would have to you would have to copy, for instance, all images manually. So you would have to copy it uh, like this, for instance, you copy it from this PDF file uh, into into Microsoft Word, and then you would just start translating something, writing. And uh, you know, as you can imagine, uh, this is really laborious. And it will take you lots of time and you will just end up working for, for a minimum wage if you recalculate the time you spent on translation uh, per your rate per word, then you know you won't make that much money per hour. So um, there actually must be some way how to do it uh, a little bit more effectively, how to optimize this whole process. And uh, sure enough, there is. Uh, so what you have to do uh, before you start translating a PDF file, you actually need to convert such PDF file to some editable format. It will mostly be something like Microsoft Word, but you can also convert it to RTF or to some other um, appropriate format. But uh, in this case, we will be working with uh, the MS uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Office Word uh, format. So what you can actually do is uh, to go to this web page, web page I have discovered for you. And this uh, web page is uh, actually called PDF uh, to Doc. And what this web page does is uh, that it actually converts PDF files to doc files. So doc files, DOC files, they are Microsoft Word uh, document uh, files. So it actually it's uh, very easy. You just go to this web page and uh, then you just drag and drop your PDF document, which I have uh, prepared right here. So you can just uh, drag and drop it onto this uh, web page. And you know, it will just take a couple of seconds and uh, then it will actually convert it. And as you can see, as soon as it's converted, you can actually click this download button and it will download uh, the converted PDF file. And this PDF file will be converted to Microsoft Word. So as you can see, it's been uh, nicely downloaded here. Uh, so we can view it in the folder. And then we can drag and drop, drag and drop it into our actual folder where we would like to work with it. So we can drag and drop it here. And as you can see, it's been nicely copied into our folder. So what you can do now, now you can upload such a Microsoft Word file into a so-called CAD tool. CAD tool is a special piece of software. So CAD stands for Computer Aided Translation. And it's a special software and it's really key in this process. With this uh, CAD tool, you can actually save lots of work and lots of time. So if you don't know what a CAD tool is, then please watch and read my other articles on CAD tools to get some more information about this. But as I have said, it's really key. So you need to use a CAD tool for this. So in this case, I'm using this very old SDL Trader Studio, which is a classic CAD tool. I have actually already prepared a project so I can just only drag and drop 
my file into it. So I will just open it and I will now just drag and drop my file into it. And as you can see, it will add the file nicely into my Trados Studio. It's been added now and I can now prepare it for translation by clicking the right button and then selecting uh, prepare. And I can just uh, click directly finish. And it will just take a, a couple of seconds and it will prepare the project. Yeah, okay, so it's been prepared. And now the process is uh, really easy. You just switch it to your target language, which is Czech in this case, and you just double click your file. And as you can see, it will nicely open in this SDL Trado Studio. And as you can see, it's been nicely converted, it's fully editable, and you can start translating. I'll just translate a bit. I will use the machine translation feature and I will use uh, my own software, which is called Bohemicus. So I will use the machine translation feature for this. Bohemicus will be running in the background. So I can start maybe uh, from here and I can just press uh, Ctrl plus space to machine translate each segment. And as you can see, I'm just uh, very quickly uh, translating everything. Yeah, of course, this would need to be a little bit formatted for the uh, final uh, for the final form, but it's getting pretty pretty quickly. If you speak any Czech, you can see that it's not perfect. It would be to uh, to be uh, it would need to be edited, but I'm just doing it quickly uh, to show you how you can actually do it and how you can export it to the final format, to the final Microsoft uh, Word. I would like to show you the results. So let's do a couple of segments more. Right, so I think this is just enough. Uh, so I have translated a fair portion of this document. So let's, I can, uh, I can now close this file and I can actually export it, finalize it to its final form, to its final format, to see you, to show you what it actually looks like when it's uh, finished. So I can just click finalize. And as you can see, it's been completed. So I can now show you the final file. And uh, as you can see, here we have uh, the final file. It's been nicely convert converted. And as you can see, our translated portion of text uh, is uh, right uh, here. So this uh, portion of text uh, is in Czech. You can see it's right here. I could translate the whole document into Czech and as you can see, it will nicely uh, keep the formatting. It will keep all the images. Just the text will be in a different language. It will be in the in the uh, target language of your choice. So this is basically how you translate uh, PDF documents. So to sum it up, you need to take your PDF file. You need to upload it to a PDF to Word converter, which we have right here, like here. This is the PDF to doc. So it's HTTPS uh, double dot slash 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 PDF to dog dot com. So right here, you go to this website, you upload your document, it will be converted for you, then you download it, you upload it to your CAT tool. It can be, for instance, SDL Trados, it can be MemoQ, or it can be some other CAT tool such as WordFast. You translate it you export it or finalize it into your final uh, Microsoft Word format. And here you go, you have translated your very first PDF, uh, PDF document.